Hey Florida State fans, I'm Brendan with Knowles 24-7. Do you guys want the good news first or the bad news? All right, let's go good news first. At wide receiver, let's see. Winston Wright has been pretty darn good this spring coming back from a leg injury, a, a severe leg injury last year. He looks good. He looks like someone who's going to contribute. Ja'Kai Douglas, someone that we heard really good things about in the offseason. Looks athletic, dynamic so far early on this spring. Someone who's going to contribute this year, I would say so. You have Kentron Portier, Darian Williamson. FSU's wide receiver room looks night and day different than it did two years ago. And even last year with the bump it got in play with some transfer additions, which we'll get into in a second, uh, it looks like a better position group. Oh yeah, and Johnny Wilson, still really, really good. He's unguardable at times in practice. Now for the bad news. Micah Pittman was going to miss the entire spring. It was announced at the start of spring by Mike Norvell. It turns out the Micah Pittman injury will linger beyond just the next month or so of spring practice. Micah Pittman announced on his YouTube channel, which I will link in the description below, although he has a lot more uh, subscribers on his YouTube channel than, than we do at Knowles 24-7. Please subscribe to Knowles 24-7's YouTube channel. Help us out a little bit. Uh, but I, I will link to that so you guys can see the full video if you haven't seen it yet. Basically, Micah Pittman announced on his day in the life uh, channel. Usually usually pretty fun and lighthearted, this time a little bit more serious. He said that he is going to miss the next, next four to six months with a, a hip injury that required surgery. He's already undergone the procedure from the video, sounds like. Basically, he played with this hip injury. It was a torn muscle, labra, I believe. Uh, if you guys know what the difference between like a labra and labrum is, I thought labrum's shoulder... Uh, I don't know, uh, beyond my pay grade, but if, if you are a, a surgeon, a doctor, an FSU fan who knows about these sort of things, maybe kind of explain in the comments section what Mike is dealing with, but it sounds like he's going to miss uh, four to six months, which could put him out for the start of the season for 2023. Why does that matter? Well, maybe not insurmountable loss for FSU on the field, although he was a starting slot receiver for FSU and, and really a, a a reliable, sure-handed guy, gritty, good blocker on the perimeter, someone who worked really hard. He had 330 receiving yards last year on 32 catches, three touchdowns. It's a toughie, not insurmountable, but a toughie. As mentioned earlier, there have been some wide receivers this spring stepping up already in Micah Pittman's absence. So uh, those guys, especially younger players, less experienced players getting more reps might be somewhat beneficial to FSU this offseason. It's just really going to depend on how Micah Pittman's rehab process goes and kind of figuring out what he'll be for FSU in 2023. Uh, where it really hurts the most in my estimation is punt returns. So uh, if you're an FSU fan, you know all too well what punt return was in 2021, how detrimental it was to you winning games, a lot of muffed punts or just punts that weren't fielded cleanly that led to to lost yards, hidden yards. I mean, even from the, the regular season finale that ended your season, uh, short of a bowl bid, a muffed punt played a huge role in losing to Florida. Uh, Micah Pittman came in from Oregon solidified that position overnight. Very sure-handed, uh, just even from a, a effectiveness standpoint of returning the ball. Let's see, FSU went from averaging 4.18 yards per punt return to 10.32 yards per punt return. Micah Pittman himself averaged 8.89 yards per return, which was 19th nationally. I and mean, so when you think about that difference, it doesn't sound like a ton, but basically uh, when expanded throughout the course of a game, you're taking a first down and, and ripping it away. You're basically giving up the amount of yards that would equivalent to a uh, a first down. And, and those are the kind of hidden yards that when you're playing in close games against good opponents and trying to win the contest that FSU wants to win to get to the next level, uh, you're going to miss that. So where does FSU go from here? We'll see what happens at punt returner. I think Azaria Thomas is someone who, who might get an expanded role. He's a really talented freshman, or excuse me, second year cornerback. I still freshman technically, but he, he's a rising sophomore cornerback FSU likes a lot very dynamic good ball skills was a two-way player in high school he's someone that I would look at maybe Winston Wright if you're comfortable expanding his role a little bit even though he's still not 100% from his leg injury last year he is someone who is uh, dynamic with the football in his hands was a really good kickoff returner at West Virginia uh, and then as far as wide receiver I think the X's and O's guys will get into a more in-depth breakdown in the next week or so uh, so I would suggest you check out their YouTube page. They're part of Knowles 24-7 Network, obviously, but they'll have some actual like video clips and, and things that are a little bit more in-depth than we can do on our channel on theirs as they explain what FSU is going to do to replace Micah Pittman. We'll see what happens with Micah Pittman, how long it takes for him to recover from the injury. Obviously not great news for FSU. Feel bad for Micah, someone who's put in a lot of hard work. Uh, the, the positive sign is that the timeline currently may not cost him any time this season. We shall see. 
but a bummer for FSU, a bummer for Mike Pittman throughout this offseason. Uh, we will keep you posted at Knowles 24-7 about who's looking good at wide receiver, options at punt returner, those sort of things as uh, the spring develops. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff to our YouTube channel. You can check out content constantly going on at Knowles247.com. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.